Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. I've had a lot of people interested in the Pat Winlink that I run on the Raspberry Pi computers. So I thought we'd take a few minutes today to show you what the install looks like and getting the basic configuration set up. Uh, this will probably be broken up into a multi-part series of videos since uh, it will take a little bit of time to get everything accomplished. So right now you're looking uh, just at my terminal window where I've logged in to the Raspberry Pi via SSH. I'm running uh, Stretch Lite and I have gone ahead and gotten all the updates done for that. So first thing you're going to do is come to this website. I'll leave a link for this down in the description. As of the date of this video, it looks like uh, 0.6.1 is the latest uh, version of PAT. And we're looking for the one specifically for the ARM processor, so this one right here. So I'm not going to download this. I'm simply going to right-click and copy that link address. Coming back over to the Pi's terminal window, we're going to make a new directory. And we'll just call that one temp. And go ahead and move into the temp directory that you just created. Now we need to download that file so we'll use the wget command and we'll paste in the link that we copied from the web page. And we'll go ahead and press return and let that run. Alright, once that has run, alright now that we've got that downloaded we'll list the contents of the directory and then we'll take and copy and get my mouse to cooperate we'll just copy that file name there now to install pat we'll use sudo and we'll paste in the name of the file hit the return key and that'll go ahead and unpack and install the Pat Winlink client. Okay, now that that's finished up, we need to get a few configuration things done before we can go ahead and use Pat. So to get to the configuration, we'll run Pat Configure, and that'll open up a nano editor. And we need to go in and change just a few things here. So in this first line between the brackets, we want to give it our call sign. Right here, you would enter your WinLink password. Now, where it says locator, uh, that's asking for your grid square. I happen to know mine. So we'll enter the grid square there. And then right here, we're going to make a change from this local host to 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0 colon 8080. Now on my emergency email server I actually don't run that at colon 8080. Um, that's the port number. I typically use some uh, kind of off port um, just so it doesn't interfere with maybe a web server or something else that I'm running on that. Uh, but in this case we can just leave it at 8080 for the time being. And that's the uh, only thing we need to do to get this uh, configured. So we'll hit the Control X button. It'll ask us if we want to save our changes. We're going to tell it yes and press enter. And that brings us back out to here. All right, now that we've got the configuration file uh, set up and all of our information entered in, we'll go ahead and start PAT with PAT HTTP. And it'll tell us that the service has started at this web address. Um, now, I, I'm not a networking guy. My understanding is this will allow a connection over the network uh, by entering the 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. Uh, if you leave it at localhost, you would actually have to be at the Pi uh, physically connected with a keyboard in order to make this work. Uh, so I just go ahead and change it to uh, all zeros there so that I can make it work over the network. So back over into the web browser, Let's go ahead and grab a new tab here. 
and I happen to know that my IP address for the Pi uh, is 10.3.35.99. Now you'll have to look at your particular network to know what that address is, but you need the Pi's IP address followed by the 8080, which is the port that we set up inside of the PAT configuration file. Once you get that, hit return, you'll see the PAT mailbox load up. Okay, so let's go ahead and test everything and make sure we did it correctly. Uh, let's compose a message. And we'll click the post button. Then go back to the action button, click connect. Uh, for right now, we're not using any RF. We're just going to do a telnet connection. So under select aliases, we'll select telnet and we'll hit the connect button. Down here in the bottom, you should be able to see it make its connection. And there you go, that's done. Uh, so we had transmitted our test message and that should show up in our inbox shortly. Thank you guys for watching. There will be more in this series as time permits. Hey, help us out. Uh, if you intend to buy something, uh, maybe the Raspberry Pi or a new SD card, using the links down in the description uh, doesn't cost you anything, but does put a little bit of money into our Amazon account uh, as an affiliate link. We always appreciate you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next video.